Good evening, everyone. How we doing? It's been a little while. Uh, sorry, I haven't put, posted any videos recently. I've uh, been battling uh, some personal issues and uh, personal gardening issues, as uh, some of you know that might follow me on Google Plus. Uh, Pepper Lovers community have uh, had some issues with army worms that are devastating my crops. Um, learning experiences. Uh, I think I figured out why I have them. Uh, I think I got it under control. We'll see what happens. Um, but that's not why I'm here. Um, I'm here to uh, let you know that Hobbs' Hot Peppers is in business in conjunction with the uh, Pepper Wolverine. Uh, there's some products out there. If someone would like, you can reach out to me on uh, many Google platforms. Um, as uh, I reached out to someone that uh, posted a pepper, and that's the main reason we're here, um, because uh, he had a pepper that said this, he thought it was pretty hot. And I was like, hey, you know, if, it's, if you really think it's that hot, and you're not exactly sure what it is, I'd be interested in uh, trying it out and see, see what I think of it. Uh, I'm not a professional by any means, but uh, I'll give it a shot. Um, and when he posted some pictures of it, I had some presumptions of what it would be. And when I received them, I had some even more presumptions of what it would be. Um, these are some of the pods that I received. I, he, Eric Hester uh, of the Google Plus uh, Pepper Lovers community sent me some incredible pods. Um, he didn't have to, but he did. And that's pretty cool. Um, he sent me several of these, which is the um, pepper in question that he was curious about. He's got a pretty good idea of what they are. Before I reached out to him with my uh, presumptions, um, I confirmed what he thought they might be. I had some preconceived notions based upon looks only, um, and why they look like many different types of peppers. Um, they weren't purchased seeds. It looks like it was an uh, incidental cross in his garden. Um, I was thinking when I received them that they might be a, uh, a devil's pepper or a, a devil's uh, heart or a devil's naga brain from somebody else. The devil's heart would be from a pepper lever um, or a devil's naga brain might be from Mojo. But uh, when I told him that, he's like, no, these, I think these came from my garden. It was an incidental cross. Um, it looks like it might be a Fatali Red with a brain strain, which is uh, pretty cool, uh, in my opinion, because I have a, uh, of the three, I'm going to take this one. It's the biggest pepper of the three. Um, I say it's cool only because uh, Dave Schramm, which a lot of people know from growing at home in West Virginia, um, via Gage Hymus, uh, I got some seeds for a yellow Fatali um, crossed with a brain strain. Um, and it's a yellow strain, and it looks very different than this. It's a, I grew it out last year, I'm growing it out this year. It doesn't look very good this year because it's my garden, just whatever, we're not gonna talk about that. Uh, very different, smooth skinned, uh, more of the um, brain strain uh, shape. This has the Fatali shape, but is ex obviously, as you can probably tell, it is extremely bumpy, like a brain strain. So um, I'm interested to see what this is. Um, I have a, for those of you that don't follow me on a, on a Google Plus Pepper Lovers community page, this is a pepper knife. Um, I only use it for peppers. It was gifted to me by uh, one of the founders of a uh, pepper donkey um, Aaron Hernandez you can find him on uh, many different platforms uh, pepper lovers community is probably the best one to locate him on um, but I think he's present and uh, several others as well you can look up uh, pepper donkey and or uh, Aaron Hernandez so I just sharpened this to make sure that it's a uh, can just slice right through this pepper like that Oh wow, that's uh, extremely floral. I mean, this thing's a foot away from my face and I can smell it. Interesting, okay. Which would be a little bit seven potish, like a brain strain. Not so much the Fatali, but maybe the brain strain. Um, 
I would classify this one as a thin to medium walled pepper. Uh, pepper walls themselves, uh, not super thick. Um, it'll be hard to get this on the camera, uh, my camera phone, but there is a little bit of uh, capsaicin oil inside uh, down here in this pocket over here. Uh, there's a couple black seeds in there. I'm going to scrape those out before I attempt to eat this. Uh, just to not skew a flavor or an opinion. The nice thing about this thing, this knife, I just sharpened it. It's razor sharp. It doesn't take too much to cut those out. Good amount of placental tissue down here at the base, which you might, you would expect, or you would hope for, uh, from a super hot pepper. Um, very, very floral, uh, very chinense, uh, pronounced aroma. This guy, uh, Eric, he, he grew some nice peppers. He's posted a couple pictures and they look awesome. So, uh, let's uh, see what this thing's all about. Immediately floral. Immediately. Uh, definitely has a little bit of seven pot, like brain strain or something similar. Now, for those that might be interested, that was an 11 gram pepper. I did, I did weigh it. That's why I took the biggest one. That was the only one that I weighed. Um, oh yeah, very floral. This one uh, would probably do well to remove all the seeds to get rid of the bitterness because the uh, it, it's very bitter on the forefront. Floral and bitter. So it's been like 30 seconds since I ate it and it's got the it's got some heat that is already attacking the front of the mouth. Some tingling. It's pretty humid here uh, where I live in Illinois right now. It's, uh, according to my hydrometer it's about 82% uh, humidity with uh, 78% or 72, 78 temperature, so it's really humid. So that's why I'm sweating. I expect that to change significantly. I might be dropping with sweat, we'll see. Extremely floral. Not exactly what I look for in a pepper. It's not a bad thing, it's just uh, my personal preference. Starting to work itself around the perimeter of the mouth. All over the mouth. Coming down the throat a little bit. And there's obviously a cardinal wanting to mate in my background. I don't know if you can, if that'll come through in the audio or the video. Not sure. But the preppers are really pretty. I mean, nice looking peppers. They're pretty mean, pretty good size, about two inches long, about an uh, inch across and uh, radius. So that means the circumference would be about uh, three inches, two and, a half, two and a half inches. Still climbing. Quite a bit actually. It's picking up quite a bit. Uh, I can feel the uh, sweat changing. It's not just the humidity and now it's heat. Starting to build back. Getting close to the ears on the back of the jawline. Uh, for those of you that have maybe not watched my videos, if something really kicks my butt, I'll get some uh, alarms going off in the ear. Like a two, three, four alarm fire in the ear some ringing, some buzzing, something like that. This is getting there. It's not there yet, but it's still early on.
a little bit of the, I think uh, Eric's right. This probably it does have some Fatali uh, genetics in it. It has a little bit of that Fatali sweetness to it. A um, little bit hard to decipher with the burn of the seven pot, because I think he's right. Uh, it's probably the brain strain. Brain strain has that overwhelming mouth sensation of like pins and needles. This has that. The floral floral essence has uh, dissipated. It's got a pretty good flavor to it. This would be a great hot sauce pepper for sure. And yeah, now I'm smoking like I'm uh, smoking, sweating like a madman. It's got a gr good amount of heat to it. It's a uh, It's hard to put a heat level on it. I mean, my heat level is a little bit skewed. And I hate to tell someone they have a hot or a not hot or a super hot or something. I don't want them to get upset. But it's it's a definitely, it's a hot pepper. I mean, it's uh, I can tell it has a lingering heat. It's not gonna dissipate fast. It's not building anymore. But it definitely started to want to go back to my ears. It's almost like a 0 0.5 on the Richter scale for my ears. It's, it's hotter than a ghost, for sure. For me, at least. Like I said, I'm a little bit skewed because I eat a lot of hot peppers, and if I'm not eating as fresh hot peppers, I'm eating a lot of sauce. It's a darn good pepper. Salivating quite a bit. Start working down through the throat into the uh, stomach a little bit. I'm not attacking it. It's not a bomb. It's not like an, a, a maruga bomb down in the stomach where all of a sudden you're just like, wow, I just that was a mistake. But a good amount of heat. That might cause me some problems a little bit later just because I haven't had too much to eat today. Overall mouth burn, tingles and needles, uh, the seven pot floral flavor, but a sweetness that you can find in a Fatali once the heat subsides if you're able to do that. Not everyone's able to do that. Eric, this is an awesome pepper. Uh, since I have these two, I'm gonna I'll save seeds from these, and I hope they're uh, they'll be true to form because this is a this is a great pepper. It's a really good pepper. I like it. Good flavor. After you get past the floral floral nodes, once those subside, and they they subsided quick. It's a really good pepper. I like it. Yeah. Eric Hester, thanks for uh, sending me the exquisite box of pods that came out of your garden. Um, all of them were, all of them that I've tried, I haven't tried all of them, have been very good. This one is a phenomenal pepper. Definitely, uh, if your plant's still growing, put an isolation net over a portion of it that only has. Uh, maybe no flowers that might develop flowers and isolate this. This would be great to continue and let's see what happens with it in the future. Thanks for sending this to me. This is a great pepper. Um, yeah, I like it. So this is the, um, he's calling it the seven pot Fatali because uh, the assumption is that it's a seven pot brain strain times a, you're crossed with a Fatali. And I think he's probably right. I can pick up the 
portions of both peppers. A little bit of the sweetness of the fatali and the, the heat of the seven pot brain strain. It's a darn good pepper. Hey Eric, thank you very much and uh, I'll try and return the favor uh, if my garden recovers from army worms. We'll see. Very good. I'm glad I got two more of them. I'll put these to good use. Peace out, pepper, pepper lovers. Uh.